Good morning, everybody. Today is gonna be another great day. Today is kind of a chill day for us, so we're just hanging out with some family, but hopefully we'll get some really cool footage for you guys. Do wanna share that with you, of kind of the area around where we're at. It's just absolutely beautiful, lush, green. It's definitely the Southeast, uh, way different than Colorado. It's, it has its own beauty too. Um, but right now, Liz and Morgan are off uh, grabbing some breakfast. I'm gonna go meet up with them and uh, get this day started. All right, guys, so we are in the car. We are getting ready to actually go for uh, a nice drive. I uh, can't wait to share the footage with you and uh, hope you enjoy. But yeah, we're getting we're getting out and about. It's time to go. Let's just go exploring. than it used to be. Get you an ice cold drink. All kinds of different things. Also, if you need to go fishing, definitely fishing up near the Chattahoochee is an awesome thing to do. And then candy. Homemade things, always awesome. Another one of those unusual drinks. All different types, all different flavors. Just held in that old tiny ice box. You do need your coffee. There you go for some more coffee here, guys. Now these are what we totally came in for. Because these are the biggest cookies in the world and the best. People talk about doing like local honey and everything and you know, you should have local honey, it's good for you, those types of things. But where does local honey come from, you might wonder. So here is some local honey right here. But here is where the honey comes from. Look at those guys. There are some things that are just classic. In the South, RC Cola, Moon Pies. Yep, I've done those together on a hot summer day. going to actually shoot her BB gun that her papa gave her and look at this it's got the buck right there that's a serious gun there kiddo what do you think Thanks, great all right well here let's point it down range yeah go ahead cock it there you go show us how it's done nice all right I'm gonna point it down range yeah, 
look out, paper. Morgan got you real good. <laughs> and it's awesome. All right. We are heading into Helen. We have just gotten up and kind of had some breakfast and coffee. Coffee? coffee lots of coffee so now we're gonna head we don't actually have a whole lot of time right this second but we're meeting up with some family and going to do the uh, mountain coaster which we're definitely going to show you that um but hopefully we'll be able to have some more time throughout the day maybe even tomorrow to kind of bum around town and have some fun but let's go check out what we can right now next to the road but I want to show you we're staying right back here um, but just to show you kind of in proximity how close that is Helen is right here the downtown part of Helen is literally straight on the other side of Liz and Morgan up there so really close I mean it's we've been kind of like playing around and it's only taken us well really it's only taken us about uh, maybe six minutes seven minutes to get this far so it's not very far at all and you know it's easy to get to it's totally within walking distance all of your food all of your fun all of your shops all of your snacks so let's go explore my backpack she's from florida and that little equinox right there lounge fly bringing people together there's the mountain coaster up there guys we're gonna be on that here in a little bit, can't wait. Now, there are some very good places to eat in Helen. I wanna let you guys know that. Uh, one of my favorite all-time places to eat, and it's not even necessarily, they have good German food, they have just really good food, period, and that's Cafe International. So here's Cafe International, and they are right on the river, guys. I gotta show you this. Check this out. This looks a little bit rickety, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna, oh yeah. Like you got somebody down there tubing the Chattahoochee River. Look at this. So I don't know if you guys, I gotta show you. So this right here, these little rocks right here um, and over here, especially the ones down there. When I was a kid, I used to get in trouble all the time by my parents because I would just hop around on all those rocks. Yeah. And every time they would tell me, never go down there, never go down there. I didn't listen. That was the most fun thing to do in the summertime because you just, you know, you just take off your shoes and go for a dip and try to skip the rocks. And sometimes you just had to get into the water. So it was always fun. So guys, everything is based on Main Street through Helen. So you've got all of your cars, you got all your trucks, you got all your motorcycles. Um, it is a very happening place, you know. It's, <laughs> but check this out, guys. That's another town. Bam, another, River. yeah, another view of the Chattahoochee. And that guy in the tube down there, he's shooting the hooch. Yeah. That's what it's called. Not drinking the hooch, shooting the hooch. And this is also where, man, if you kind of look down, the Chattahoochee is this really is dirty in Atlanta. <laughs> but uh, not right here. It's quite clean. You can actually get up to the headwaters where it's just crystal clear. Look down. Look at this, guys. I love the trout. Kind of the yeah. So I guess it's kind of similar to the, the love walls and everything that you see in Europe, man, where you put the locks on for family or friends or just in remembrance. I'm not sure. I love it. But I do love it. Well, I love the... I love the, the wall in Paris is all about, you know, the, the locking your love. Yeah, locking your love together, but... Look at this really cool old lock. Look at this one. Dude, that's amazing. That one's awesome, too. There is an Ace Hardware right down here. We can go get a padlock real quick. But then are we, like, I don't know, is it littering? I don't even know. I don't even know. It's I neat, know. but I don't know if I'm going to put a lock on there. I Totally one of antique lock we were gonna
give you an idea of where we were. We were back here. We've walked all the way into town now. Cars are always going to be coming, so there are crosswalks, guys, all the way throughout the town. Just to point this out, right across the street here are public rest restrooms, so that way if you if you got to go, you know, you're not forced to go buy something from somewhere just to be able to use the restroom or have to go back to your hotel room. This, guys, used to be an old gas station in the middle of town, all right, but now they sell funnel cakes and ice cream and pretzels, pizza maybe, no, not pizza, sorry, but definitely some good food. Then you got the Bavarian house, which used to be the tobacco store. So the ice cream place, funnel cakes, oh, the best. T-shirt shop, yes, I work there too. And then guys, right across the street here is where Liz had one of her first jobs uh, in Helen, and that was working at a fudge place, right? So like a fudge kitchen? Well, it was Jim Garrahy's Fudge Kitchen. And we had this huge marble table. We actually had two huge marble tables. We'd make 25 pounds, 50 pounds of fudge at a time. Wow. And I made some really good fudge. And I still have this really weird fudge muscle that's never gone away from making fudge. Huh. It's an odd little fact and trivia I right there. I guess from always the flipping you know, and everything. Flip it forward. Yeah. You flip it forward and you go down and flip it forward and flip it forward. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been years. So, but now it's yeah, a coffee shop, there. right? Now it's a coffee shop. And did I understand correctly, Morgan, that you wanted to go get a cup of coffee and walk around town? Yeah. Let's go yeah. get a cup of coffee. All right. I would do is more water. All right, guys. So we just got some coffee, but check this out. We left our mark. Boom. So. There you go. If you're ever in Helen, check us out right there. So we got our coffee. It's delicious. Now we're heading out. Now let's go do more adventuring. Now we're going to go down this place. So this used to be like funnel cakes and fries and chicken fingers. But right now it's all closed up. But every little alleyway leads to something bigger there used to be a really cool t-shirt shop right down here here on the right but this place right here is where i used to sell beer nuts out of this little bitty place right here make some extra money when i was a teenager every oktoberfest but that used to be the t-shirt shop Oh, and look, you get the Wild West photos. Unfortunately, they're closed right now, but uh, used to be on the other side look at the little street. leader hosing. Oh, how cute. guys so we just went down there we've come back around and now we are coming up and this is the beer garden and then you got the, the little bar area back there it used to be I think still is maybe the Christmas shop so one of the staples of this town is actually fudge okay and peanut brittle and sweets and yes. just snack food um, and the probably the best place that has lasted the longest and pioneered it in this city is Hansel and Gretel. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's Tampa. Oh, nice and air conditioned in here. Oh, wow, look at this. You see those big fudge tables, the marble on there? Helps to cool it down. Yeah, it kills it evenly.
was so much fun. So now we get to eat all of the good stuff and not feel guilty about it ever. Oh yeah, because these are vacation calories, they don't count. Huh. We say the same thing for Disney too. This building right here guys is where it says it's now the pepper palace but this is where my parents and my uncle started their business years ago when we first moved to helen and then my parents business was right here my uncle's business was right down and uncle's business rather right down on the other end and this is where i learned how to ride my bike for the very first time no helmet, and I got hit by a car. I got hit by a car, she laughs. That's great. So something I wanna share with all you guys that are coming to Helen maybe for the first time, for as long as I can remember, every Saturday and Sunday from about May through October, maybe the first part of November, there is bumper to bumper traffic all the way outside of the town every weekend so just know that make your plans accordingly and give yourself an extra hour if you're coming from outside of the town guys if you are in town if you are like staying in the hotel in town just walk everywhere you're gonna go everything is within five to ten minutes just make it easy on yourself <laughs> all right guys here we go we're gonna go up we're under one cloud. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. Well, now it's raining. But there's the line right over there. And as soon as it stops raining, we're going to go get in the line. There goes Liz. Braving the, braving the weather. She doesn't care. She's going to go get wet and get in line. I don't want to. Let's go. Right there, there, man, with the sun and the rain and sparkling on the leaves. Here are the cars, which right now are soaking wet, but they do have sanitizer that they're going to use to wipe them down. So that's going to be cool. I don't know how that's going to work with them being soaking wet right now, but we'll find out. So it stopped raining, but... It started thundering. It started thundering again. And we're waiting... I think they're doing a test run right now, yeah, and then we get to go. Everybody's getting cold no. to go. It's a no-go. Yeah. Is what the lady said we bought our ticket. Okay. So thunder, lightning, no-go. And I don't know if it's the refundable at all. But if we do get to go, I will then GoPro while we do go. All right, guys, this is what this appointment looks like. Sad faces all the way around. We were rained out. There's nothing we could have done. We were totally rained out. There was nothing we could have done. Liz is absolutely right. And the fact is, is that we are going to go get a refund because it, so here's the deal. And I'll tell you guys. So what they said is that if it lightnings or thunders uh, any, anywhere within 15 miles that um, that they have to shut down the ride. So that's safe and we're totally fine with that. Uh, here's the other thing, though. Uh, if we wait, and they, they shut it down for 30 minutes, if we wait for 30 minutes, and then, sorry, I'm walking through a massive puddle. Um, if we wait for the 30 minutes, and then it lightnings or thunders again, they have to shut it down for another 30 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab some lunch, hang out with some more family, and we are going to see how things are going um, later, and then hopefully come back and write it. Maybe tonight, maybe later this afternoon. But we're definitely going to try to write it because it looks so fun. Um, and it's actually my niece's first time ever riding any kind of coaster. So this ought to be pretty cool. So that is tubing the Chattahoochee right there. Look at that. So cool. This is always fun to do, guys. This water is always refreshing. However, 
see those clouds up there we've been seeing lightning that's why we're actually not on the coaster right now and we're walking uh to lunch so that is why however hopefully we'll be able to go back on the coaster sometime soon we'll see hopefully we'll get to go today but definitely i don't want to be on a metal rail as it's pouring down rain or lightning so safety first <laughs> So just checking in with Liz. Liz, unfortunately, it just poured down a whole bunch of rain. And my shoes are awesome. And she's got her Mickey Mouse shoes on, but- But they, they float on my feet, so I can't walk fast. Otherwise I'll walk right out of them or get a blister. But you know, I love them. But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The struggle is real. Beautiful is that, Liz? Nice oh, that little awesome. waterfall. Yeah, great little man. They've really, really done a great job with the landscaping in Helen. Absolutely. From the flowers, the flower boxes. Oh no, it's trying to play music. And I just want to show you guys here real quick. So as you're walking this nice little path um, at the park here, and this is Unicoi Park, uh, you've actually got little benches that you can sit at. Look at this split rail fence. Yeah. How cute is that? It's totally cute. They and look at the little covered area right there where the yeah. waterfall's going through. They definitely have upped the game as far as the landscaping in Helen and just enjoying the fact that you're outside. Yeah. And you're in nature and it's just really pretty. All the flowers, the waterfall. Man, they've done a great job. So different. And this, I mean check out those pine trees. Alright, so I want to put this in another perspective. When I was a kid, this whole area right here, first of all, this walking trail, it did not exist, okay? So all of this was grass. There was a parking lot here, you know, like right here, um, that was gravel, dirt. This was all grass. There was no trees or anything. This is where we'd come and play football and stuff like that. Uh, you know, when you're bored and your buddies and you just, you know, play in hide and, hide and go seek, but there was nowhere to hide now you got all these trees everything is just so lush and beautiful it i just this is it's just amazing beautiful beautiful area all right so something else i wanted to share with you guys there is a trail that goes from helen to unicoi state park um, this is actually where it starts so you can actually start in helen it takes you through that park and then this is where the foot traffic starts for the trail um, it's foot traffic only no bike riding or anything like that and it is absolutely a beautiful trail. So if you guys wanna, it's about maybe a three mile hike, uh, roughly. And, um, well, actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's about, it's about three miles, so it's about six miles round trip. Um, definitely highly recommend doing it uh, if you get a chance while you're here. If you were missing it, there's red Georgia clay right there. If you're missing it. Oh, would you look at that, guys. We found the kudzu if you don't know what kudzu is those aren't bushes out there those are trees and kudzu and more kudzu and there were bushes and then it got overcome with kudzu <laughs> and it goes all the way up in those trees over there oh yeah very green, it grows about a foot a day in season. One foot per day. Wow. <laughs> 